Hi guys, Awesome Ash here. So today I'm going to be talking about my natural hair favorites. I've been natural for two years, four months, and two weeks as of this video. Being natural means that I once had relaxed hair and I permanently straightened my hair and then I decided to grow out my hair um, and just let it be curly and then not permanently straighten it anymore with relaxers. And then at some point, I cut off all of my straight ends. So that's what it means by going natural. So along the way, I found products that I absolutely loved. I ruled out some that I hated for my natural hair because my relaxed hair and my natural hair did not act the same. And I know you saw my transitioning video and I had issues um, along the way, <laughs> more than I can count, but I, I'm doing well now and I have some favorites that I want to share with you guys. Just keep in mind that this is only for when my hair is in its curly state. Sometimes I flat iron my hair and I find that different products help with the flat ironing process before and after. So I'm not going to talk about my natural hair favorites when my hair is flat ironed. I'm going to talk about my natural hair favorites when my hair is in its curly state, such as right now. So the very first thing I want to talk about is shampoo. So my absolute favorite sh shampoo is Shea Moisture uh, Moisture Retention Shampoo. Oh, there we go. Um, so why do I love this? This, uh, it has a lot of slip. You can see it coming out of the bottle. Um, it has a lot of slip. It's easy to get out the bottle. It lathers up really nicely. <laughs> it lathers up really nicely and then I noticed that once I switched to this shampoo my hair was instantly curly so the moisture retention means it helps to keep the water in each strand so that your hair stays moisturized and the more moisturized your hair is the more definition you have of your natural curl pattern. So I noticed that when I switched to this shampoo, my curl pattern just kind of popped and it stayed there. And I was just so excited because I realized I have curly hair, not just crazy, I don't know, nappy hair, I guess you could say. So I was really excited when I started to use this shampoo. And you can buy this shampoo, the Shea Moisture. Um, you can buy it at Walgreens. And I think I usually get mine at Target and they do have it at Sally's too. So next favorite conditioner is this Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Conditioner. Why do I love it? I love it because it has a pump on it. It's very easy for those wash days when you're in the shower and you have like your hair separated into like maybe four sections or maybe two or maybe six and you're trying to get all this conditioner out. So it's a lot easier because you can do this with one hand and hold onto your hair with another hand. Um, or like comb through it with another hand if you if you comb your hair in the shower. So I really like it because it has a lot of slip as well. It smells amazing and this big bottle is like six dollars maybe and I get this from Target. I don't know if I've seen it anywhere else but this big bottle is one liter three thirty three point eight fluid ounces and this is about six or seven dollars. Maybe five, six, or seven dollars. I don't really remember, but it's a lot of bang for your buck. And I absolutely love it because of the slip, because of the pump, and because of the price. Next on my list is deep conditioners. Now, I don't understand the point of using a conditioner and then a deep conditioner. They're conditioner, right? And then after your deep conditioner, you use a leave-in conditioner. So I don't believe in using... Conditioner, deep conditioner, then leave-in conditioner. It sounds extremely redundant to me. So what I personally like to do is I use my regular conditioner and I would leave it on longer. I would put a plastic cap on and I would get out the shower and I would just have my conditioner under my plastic cap and do things for an hour or two hours or go to sleep and then wake up and rinse my hair out or sit under the hair dryer and then rinse my hair out, like sit under it for like maybe five, 10 minutes and then rinse my hair out. And I do it when I can. If I don't have time, then I just don't have time. You know, you're gonna put leave-in conditioner in your hair afterwards. The main reason why I use conditioner is to help detangle my hair after my hair is detangled then I, I don't need you anymore I need my leave-in to keep my hair moisturized so I personally don't separate my deep conditioner from my leave-in conditioner whatever I use as a conditioner I just kind of leave it in longer as long as I possibly have um, for my wash day and then I rinse it out and I move on so after deep conditioner I want to go to leave-in conditioner it's the Mizani detangle detangle um 
moisturizing leave-in milk and this is a spray and it's really lightweight and it's kind of like it comes out white but it dr dries clear so you don't have any like white residue with it and my hair is so soft and it is a really good really really good detangler now this is a little expensive um and i get it at ulta it might be like 13 or 15 dollars and for me that's expensive for like one hair product it might even be more than that i'm not exactly sure but i got this at ulta i know one time i got it from the jc penny hair salon and it was still like it was close to twenty dollars when i bought it and i'm i'm not a fan of that at all i'm a fan of like my seven dollar bottle that i can get at target not this twenty dollar bottle that i have to get at a specialty store um but this is great for detangling and great for moisturizing and it's very easy to use since, since it's in a spray bottle. For my styler, I use this Obia Curl Enhancing Custard. Comes in a jar and it looks like this. And I absolutely love this because it's a little bit moisturizing and then it's curl defying and it helps weigh my hair down. Now, being... You know, like having like African American hair, we don't really hear of a lot of products that weigh your hair down. In the commercials, you see light, light, weightless. It won't weigh your hair down. No, I need something to weigh my hair down because my hair wants to grow up and out like alfalfa. It doesn't want to stay down with gravity. So I have to add more products to help it stay down a little more. And this helps my hair stay down. So if you have like type 4 hair, then I would recommend this. But if you have... um looser waves and you want more volume and more body then I probably wouldn't recommend this specific custard for you but if your hair grows up and out like a tree like mine does and you want to add some weight to your ends um, then I would definitely suggest this and it's also great and defining and it's not like a hard gel like if you do eco styler gel it kind of leaves like a hard um, cast on your hair and I, I don't like that feeling and then sometimes it flakes and it turns white and I also don't like that so this does not turn white it does not leave a weird cast on my hair I love it it smells great um let's see I think this is 15 or 20 dollars and you have to buy it from their website or amazon.com so this is Obia O-B-I-A sorry OBIA curl enhancing custard and the consistency just because I mean you can't get this in stores and look at it it's white it's really thick but it's not it's not too crazy you got your sticky tackiness there so that you know that your hair will um, you know whatever curl you have before you put this on that's what curl you're gonna have when you leave so just make sure that your hair is wet and my hair is usually wet from the Mizani leave-in um, detangler anyways so I absolutely love 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 this product and like I said in order to buy this online in order to buy this you have to get it online either at obia.com O-B-I-A dot com or you can go to Amazon and search this and you'll get it it's a little less expensive on Amazon but sometimes Obia will do free shipping and then it kind of just turned out to be the same price and then my last 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 um, natural hair favorite is contingent upon what hairstyle I have so I usually do wash and goes and after the first or second day um, I like to kind of refresh my hair like when I get up in the morning I like to like spray it and fluff it out and I like to spray it with this this is called ion anti frizz solutions this is the lightweight moisture and detangling and ion is actually a vegan line you can get this at Sally's and I like this because it's it has a light spritz it's not like a real aggressive spray you know how when you get some spray bottles you spray it and it's like too much comes out and you're like I didn't need all of that this is like a very light spritz and when you have wash and goes, you kind of just want to do like a quick spritz in the morning and shake your hair out and just let it fall the way that, you know, it's supposed to like frame your face all perfect and pretty and nice. Um, so I absolutely love that for refreshing my hair. I don't like the Mizani for refreshing my hair because too much comes out at once for... You know, I have to leave the house in 30 minutes to go to work and my hair will still be wet if I spray the Mizani on the way that I spray this Ion Solutions on. Like, my hair will be dry in like 
I don't know, a few minutes, five minutes because I don't put too much. It's just to refresh my hair. So those are all the products that I like to use on my naturally curly hair. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.